Well, hi there. Today I'm going to be reviewing the new updates on GarageBand that just came out for the iPad. So we're going to click on the thing there and uh, notice it still has pretty much the same interface. There are a couple of changes, like when you're working with songs, your your uh, your control panels over here when you want to work with the actual song and so on and so forth. Uh, but one of the most th cool things that they did in... Um, GarageBand is they added a brand new smart string section so you can go into that and it's it's uh, pretty cool let me show you some of the stuff that it does I'll click on the uh, thing and notice now that we have a fretboard of uh, whatever particular instrument we want the bass or the cello or the viola or the violin I'm gonna pick uh, you know just for fun we'll do the bass for a minute but listen Let's say you don't really know how to play the the instrument at all. They also have the ever famous. You can pick all the different instruments at the same time to have more of an orchestra feel. And then if you don't play the instrument itself, there's a little knob here you can click and it goes like this. That's pretty cool. Now let's say we want to do a little variation. We click over here. And of course there's... Let's say we want to make it a little less um, grandiose. We can take out some of the instruments. bass, we can take that out completely and just have the cello, add our violins, Which is really cool. So what I did is I put together a song, uh, more of a, a freestyle song, and, and put some other things with it, like some drums. And I was working on a little bit of keyboard part, because they did add some new keyboards uh, to the mix as well. But here's what I got when I put my different things together. The other thing that they did was something really, really cool. And they allow you now to go into your particular um, thing. There's a new little tab called Edit. When you push Edit, what it does is it opens up the actual part. And if you messed up on a note, you can actually move that note to the right chord. So you don't have to go back and redo the whole part. You just simply have to change that particular note, which is just way cool. And I just love that. And in the um, in the piano section now, they have some new piano things, and they also added some bass. But you have light cycle. That's pretty cool. They've got a, a retro bass sound. I want a new drug. And uh, and then they also had a, a sequencer bass. So there's some new sounds there that are that are really quite cool. And uh, they also did this cool thing where if you go into the keyboards, we're gonna change this to uh, keyboard smart or yeah smart keyboards and if you go into there there's actually a whole new set of keyboards as well like
That's Helix. And there's Machine Language. And there's also Polarize. It's also solar. So I'm really, really, really pleased with the uh, the new upgrade. This is just. Uh, really opened a whole new door for me within GarageBand, so I can't wait to play with it. I've done a bunch of different things and looking forward to it. Kudos to uh, Apple for upgrading the uh, thing. Now let's do a horn section. That's what I want next, so I can really do some great orchestra stuff. There's my little review of the new GarageBand updates. Thanks, everybody. This is Rick Moyer saying goodbye.